More strides are being made toward developing the site of the SoCo trailer eateries. That's the word from the developer, SoCo Development Group. The location we're talking about is on South Congress Avenue between Milton and Monroe Streets. KXAN's Doug Shoup explains what's expected to go up there and why some foodies aren't happy about it. We've been here for four days, and we've been here every day. Todd and Clover Cooper of Missouri say they visited a lot of cities, but never found a food court like this outdoor one on South Congress Avenue. It's got a good home feel to it. It gives you, a, I think, an accurate description of what it's like to be kind of in the local situation, not just a chain of something. That's why the Coopers were surprised to hear the trailers will likely be gone soon. It's hard to find a place like this that has heart and soul in it. A sign that's been up for about a year announces a boutique hotel is coming by the same owners of Manchester at Judges Hill. The developer's spokesperson says the hotel is still in the planning stages and doesn't have a name yet. But we're told the current design includes underground parking, restaurants, a food court that's uniquely South Congress, 75 rooms, and architecture intended to complement the South Congress district. Still, some aren't sold on it. I think it's pretty important to keep Austin different. There's plenty of hotels, but there's not many of these places around. In fact, a sign for the proposed hotel was recently tagged with graffiti that reads, We don't want. As for the food vendors, they don't want to go. This is the best spot in town. This is the Sunset Strip of Austin. But the owner of Coat and Tie says he and his wife understand this kind of prime location will bring new kinds of development. A lot of times the customers say, well, I wish they wouldn't or whatever, but that's not my business. I'm just here doing business now. 